David Fudge, and I'm from Sun City West, Arizona. Tom Sharp, and I'm from <coughs> Oakland, California. My name is Lita Dukeshire, and I am from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, my name is Verhaeren Ovalle, and I'm from Dominican Republic. My name is David, and I'm from Sydney, Australia. I'm retired, but I was a biomedical engineer designing medical equipment. I was working for a pharmaceutical company. I'm a commission sales rep in the uh, tire industry, selling tires. I work for the uh, U.S. Border Patrol, and uh, I still am employed there. I've got about three years before I retire. I practiced dentistry for 47 years. And day trading is something I want to learn how to do, and I haven't found a good mentor or a good training program to kind of help me along the way, so when I found uh, CTU, I thought this is definitely the place I wanted to jump in on. The chat room is just incredible. The support that you get from other team members that help you to identify stocks that may be moving or that are really looking good for trades. And there's a lot of the uh, the people that I've met here, uh, the instructors and you know the other students too. Fausto and the team really took uh, took their time with me. They put their money where their mouth is. They get the results. You know, you can actually see them make the actual trades instead of just teaching theory and, and you know leaving it to you to work out in the real world. It's a very well organized program. It's um, logically oriented for me. And being in the chat room, there are a lot of good people and I've gotten to know a few online and here I've gotten to know several more. But I think I just saw Fausto on a webinar uh, somewhere one day and I was impressed and so I decided to check it out. Here you are. Experience with Fausto. <laughs> Fausto has been really helpful, really nice, um, and I think the team he has around him makes it, you know, really, really easy. That I realized how much he really cares about his students learning. It wasn't something like that he's just trying to get to a part of his team. It's much deeper than that. An amazing guy. Um, met him on. Uh, I remember uh, hearing his first video, his first live video, and uh, he has a lot of charisma. Uh, and he's genuine, how he sounds online. And I, I feel that he has a genuine interest in people and, and a sincere desire to see us grow and prosper. Now that I met him, see that the humble he is, you know, I see him as a very great man and mentor to follow into this field. At Cybertrade University, one of the biggest things that really always concerned me is I was you over 20 years ago. And what I needed more than anything was support. I need to learn and I need someone to hold my hand. Well, one of the big things we're very big on is we're very big on support and all the staff at Cybertrade University is very, very well educated and trained how to trade the market. So when you call us, you're gonna be talking to a education advisor or an instructor, and you're gonna see how much we really care about your trading. A lot of people you know, really don't look at you not only as a student, but we look at you as a family member, because trading is a family. Or I certainly feel like I'm included as part of a family, if you will. Right? It's just a family feeling. They're taking care of you. We will always be there. We were one of the very first people who pioneered webinar technology when it first came out in the late 90s. When you log into our website, you're going to see that we have courses, recordings, we have it going through step one, step two, step three, from beginners to advanced students. And you could come back and take the class as many times as you want for free. 70% of our training courses are live, and we train you live in the market. So you're not just reading out of a textbook. It's like a different adventure. It's just a different course because different movements in the market, different situations happen all the time, but it's the same game. And that's what teaches you how to trade in today's volatility at Cybertrade University. New York City the site of the International Traders Expo. Um, and I like to show people when I start trading live because it gets them to feel, the look and feel of what it's like to be in that race. 
In the competition, our camera focuses on Puglisi, who, despite all the options available to modern day traders, is concentrating on common traditional stocks. I have I already did two trades already. The session starts with Fausto fishing for active stocks. Soon, it will be the last half hour of the market day in New York, almost always the most active part of a short-term trader's day. I'm scanning through my top 20 list. I, I, my top 20 list is all percentage gainers and losers. I'm trying to find a stock that has some good volatility. Um, I'm trying to find some stocks. I mean, I don't care what they do. I don't, I don't care if they're going bankrupt or whatever. Fausto finds his first big move. United Airlines. He buys, and it dips. He sells and it dips even lower. You gotta know where those dominated brokerage firms are, you gotta know where they're buying it, you need to know where they're selling it, you need to know who the big boy in that stock is. A lot of people think it's just as easy as just, you know, let me just trade a brand name stock and, you know, because it's, you know, Intel or Google, you know, and that's something that you don't want to do. Okay, so now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, first of all, let's get started. Hopefully everybody liked that video that we just showed. Uh, basically, what you were just looking at was a, a uh, Testimonials from some students that we've had here over the years at Cyber Trade University of some of the on site, and also uh, a you saw a video regarding I, I did a documentary with AE channel on day trading. So, so kind of some samples of me uh, day trading with uh, one of our, my competitors. I believe that was Pristine at the time when I was doing the event. But, uh, but just to let you know, this is a live event, and I'm going to try to do as best I can to answer your questions. But let me tell you the reason why I'm here, okay? I am here for one reason and one reason only. Same reason why you're here, to make money. And what I'm looking to do today, for the next hour, is I'm looking to recruit new traders and tell you guys a little bit about trading, what it is, how it works. And then you guys, and then at the end of the presentation, you'll make a decision if trading's for you or not, because it's not for everybody, and that's okay. I've been there, I've done it, I blew up three accounts because of ignorance, being a young pup, uh, but I got smarter and wiser over the, you know, when I finally took a job to learn from somebody. And hopefully you're gonna make that first step today moving forward. So I'm gonna talk about how to make a full-time income uh, as a part-time trader, because trading is really not a full-time job. Now, just to tell you a little bit about CyberTrade University, um, I started the, one of the first educational schools over 25 years ago. Seems like a long, long time, 25 years, could you believe it? And I'm still here. I love what I do, and let me tell you why I trade. The reason why I'm here to recruit guys like you that I could train is because I'm only as good as the people I surround myself with. People always ask me, and this is a great question, people always ask and they say, you know what, Fausto, if you're a great trader, why do you teach? And I tell them the same exact thing I tell everybody. I'm only as good as I am because the people I surround myself with that I train. You see, it's not about the Fausto show, okay? It's not about Cybertrain University. It's about us working together as a team. Think about this for a second. When you look at the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, what do you see, one trader? No, he's working with his friends, his colleagues. They're working together like a team. This is not a one-man dance, okay? This is a team effort. So I, what happened when I got into the industry, I worked for a proprietary trading firm, and um, but eventually I didn't like splitting the profits, so I wanted to go on my own. And my mentors always taught me, he says, hey, Fausto, if you want to do this, you got to train people and you got to work with them. Because I believe me, there's a lot of people over the years uh, that I've met that were stockbrokers, mutual funds. They left their companies and uh, they, they ended up becoming a, a, a trader at Cyber Trade University because they realized that they, they need to be around people. You, you need to surround yourself with smart people. So that's when it was founded back in 1995. Now, I what I'm going to do today is I'm going to train you guys a little bit of the basics of what trading is about and why people lose money in trading and or maybe you're just not meeting your expectations. So I started one of the lot the first professional trading room on the internet. So all these chat rooms that you see, everything, I'm the one that started the first one and we're going to introduce you to the original one at the end um, of today's presentation. Now, just to let you guys know, I traveled around the world, I trained people around the world, and if you notice from these, these two photos, that these people are just like you, okay? They're traders like you, um, 
grandmas, grandpas, cowboys, border control people, uh, business owners, entrepreneurs, engineers, computer IT guys. These are people every day that realize, <clears throat> why should I give my money to somebody else? I could do it myself and probably and do a better job. All right. What do I need them to lose money for? I'd rather lose it myself. And that's how people make starting to realize why they want to do this. So to be part of this team, you need to understand how to play the game. All right. Now I'm not looking to, we're not a brokerage firm. Okay. Just want to be clear. We're not giving money to anybody. What we're looking to do is I'm looking to invite people in the trading room, teach you a little bit about it. And then if you want to learn and be part of the team, then we'll talk about that later. But before we do that, I'm not here to sell anything. I'm not here to give away free iPads, free computers, free car, free this. I'm not looking for free people. I'm looking for people that want to make money and buy their own computer and their own car, okay, and their own Rolex, okay? That's what it's about. It's not about free stuff, okay? We're not in the title entitlement business, guys. We're in the trading business, and that's what I'm looking for. So a couple of things we're going to talk about. We're going to na navigate and challenges of the world of high frequency trading. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that and algo, uh, algo trading, which is algorithm trading. I'm gonna talk about how to uh, distinguish the difference between level one, level two, and level three quotes. I'm gonna talk about some stocks that we traded. Maybe some of you are in positions and don't understand why everybody else is in something that you didn't find. I'm gonna talk about that. And I'm gonna have talk about how to utilize time and sales data. And then I'm also going to talk about charts, which a lot of you here probably think you know how to read it. And believe me, 80, 90 percent of you reading them backwards. So you might not like it, what you're about to hear, but fact is fact. How do I know this? Because I was a market maker. I traded here on Wall Street. I worked with some, one, some of the biggest brokerage firms, uh, trading firms, prop firms in the industry. And the only way I'm good at what I am is because I was taught the things I shouldn't be doing. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. So with that said, guys, um, I want to get to know a little bit about everybody here. And I want to do a little poll question. So I just want to know what kind of trader is everybody. Um, so if you guys could tell me, are you a stock trader, an options trader, futures, Forex? Just give me a chat back and let me know. Um, we're just going to do a quick little poll. All right. Got it. Quite a few Forex traders. Here come some stock traders. All right, some options. All right, guys. So let me, as you guys are filling out that question, um, I'm just gonna let you know a little bit about myself. I'm actually actually a day trader. Day traders do not hold positions overnight. Ma um, majority of the traders on on uh, in main, on Wall Street are day trading. They're just trading order flow, and that's basically what I teach. Okay, because I like that because I get to sleep at night. I don't get to hold positions overnight like this one you're seeing right here. You wake up one morning, $19.50, $14. I know you've been there. You've done it. You saw it. You know, you don't want to be in that position. But uh, that's the reason why. Day trading is probably the least risky because, but and, and the less more complicated. When you get more in swing trading, you got to know more about option uh, uh, indicators, options, or even, even harder because now you're dealing with commission, time, and spread. Um, you know, there's, always, there's an old saying, people say, why, why trade the stock when you trade the option? It's so much cheaper. Well, it's cheaper for a reason because there's more risk that's involved. So stock trading is actually the least risky. Swing trading is second. Options is third. And by the way, I love options. I'm not trying to knock options, but I'm just telling you right now. Um, you want to be a good options trader? You first better be a good stock trader. That's the way it goes, all right? If you can't be a good stock trader, you'll never be a good options trader. Now, let me just tell you what brokerage firms um, don't want to tell you before we move forward, all right? Now, the diff the thing is, brokerage firms, um, online brokerage firms ex specifically, they basically are trading against you, all right? I know everyone loves this market. We all see the opportunity. I know a lot of us need to make money. Uh, a lot of us are maybe on Social Security, maybe you start to trade your IRA, you're retired, which I would say about 80% of our traders are. And, or some of you just don't want, you know, maybe a stay-at-home mom, you know, or uh, and need to make supplemental income, but you don't want to leave the kids, you know, and, and daycare because you got to make that money. It, it, listen, it's the greatest job in the world. I, 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 I don't know much more to say. 
And I just find that every time everybody knows that, they try to go out there, they start trading, and the biggest mistake they make is they open up with the wrong brokerage account, okay? They open up with like a Schwab, uh, a Fidelity, you know, an E-Trade. And the thing you have to understand is that online brokers are trading against you. And let me tell you how that works. They know 80% of the people fail in trading. That's a pretty big statistic. So what they do is they just take the bet. And by taking the bet, what they'll do is they'll go out there and they'll sell it for payment for order flow. You know, another broker term will pay them for that trade. I mean, I mean, listen, I don't want to get too complicated and waste our time with this. But you, listen, you, you guys are really smart out there. Okay, you're no dummies. Do you really think a broker term makes money charging you seven dollars a ticket? Ooh, seven. How did I go from a stockbroker that charged me two percent commission, or I used to pay him a hundred, two hundred dollars? Now I'm paying seven dollars. It's like it's like a steal. It's like why would I not do that? So the thing is this, guys. Brokerage firms are literally just trading against you. That's basically how it works. All right. That's how. And the thing is, we don't want to trade against them. Um, we want to trade with them, and that's where it comes it comes into play. So how do you so how do you distinguish? There's two different brokerage firms. There are online brokers and they're direct access brokers. Okay, direct access brokers, just to let you know, they give you instant access to the market. You have a seat on the exchange, you get to trade, buy, sell, you know, you get to put orders out there. Let me tell you, when I was originally introduced of what the difference between direct access and online brokers, it's a difference of dealing with public transportation and driving your own car. Listen, there is a, a, an industry for public transportation, okay? But to run a family, run a business, Doing this, trust me, it's not going to work out. So you'll see a lot of us will train. And, and, and actually, that's the first thing I think I want you guys to take note. Write down a, on a piece of paper, call your brokerage firm, and ask them if, if I am doing direct access trades. And that will tell you the difference. Now, that is about 50% of the failure rate right there alone. And I think a lot of people not only... Uh, the reason why a lot of people don't trade direct access is because a lot of brokerages don't offer it that, that many because they don't make money at it. There's only quite a few people that do offer it. But, you know, once again, it's not for everybody. And listen, if, if, you, if you're a guy that does like one or two trades a month, you don't need it. Okay. Public trades. It's like saying, I live here in New York. Okay. It's like me uh, going to the city. Do I really need to get a train ticket? You know, like, you know, if, if I'm only doing... If I'm going in and out of the city, you know, every day, you know, yes, I need my own car. But if I'm only going there like, you know, twice a month, why do I got to buy something specifically to go into the city and pay parking? I'll just take the train. You know what I mean? Like they, there is something that there's a need for it. But if you're an active trader, 50% failure rate right there alone. All right. Now let's begin into the training part of it. Because now that you know how half the people fail in trading, now let's talk about how we, we beat the other half, all right? So let's begin with this, with this. AMRN, did anybody see this stock right here, AMRN? Anyone hear about it, heard about it, seen it? AMRN up 318%. Went from $3 all the way up to about 13. By the way, that is one day. Anybody here trade that stock? Anyone seen it, heard about it? I know we have some students in here, so they're like, oh yeah, Faust, we've been there, we've done that. Kevin, you had it, okay. Peter, you have, okay. So this is, people can't even make this in a lifetime. We do this every day. Now the question people always ask is, why did it go up? How did you know it was gonna go up? Where'd you find it? TLRY, where did TLRY come? It went from 20 to 300. Where did you, everyone's talking about TLRY, the pot stock. How did, we, we were trading that stock when it went public. How did you know it was going to go higher? How did you know it was going to back off? That is what we do here at Cyber Trade University, and that's what we're about to learn. So um, oop, let me change it. Here we go. So the number one place where, first of all, we find stocks is in our big percentage gainers and losers. Now, I want you all to understand is that here at Cyber Trade University, I have absolutely no clue what AMRN does. And I honestly, I really don't care. 
Okay. And I really don't want to know because by the time I'm not, I'm not, I'm not buying the company. Okay. For, for personal, for, for, for growth. I'm just trading it. I'm trading it for the momentum. I'm trading it to capitalize on that 200% move over the course of the day. Okay. I'm not looking to, I'm not looking for, to, to own it, you know, and put in my retirement for the next 50 years. I'm looking to get in and out of it, make my days pay, and then go on to the next day and, and do the same thing every day. So the big thing what we do here at Cyber Trade University is we're going to teach you how to scan the market. We're going to go through the big percentage gainers and losers. And then on the right, which is our cyber group room, we're going to go out there. I'm going to trade in the pre-market. We're going to trade at 8 o'clock in the morning, you know, before an hour and a half before the, all the amateurs don't even get in there because they put the orders in there. And we'll trade the stock and we'll work together like a team. So that is right there, the original trading, which you're all going to be invited to. But how do we find them? We work off our big percentage gainers, and then we're going to work together like a team in a way of finding out which one is going to give us the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward. Remember, everybody, why are we here? Okay, for one reason and one reason only. And it's not to look at Fausto and, you know, my, and, 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 and my nice looking shirt and my new haircut. You're here to make money. And you're here to find a mentor and a team that you could relate to because you probably went out there and realized it's not that easy to do it by yourself. Okay. You need to be a, have a support team. And the first place, the second place where people make mistake is they trade the wrong stocks. Now, um, here's the news regarding, you know, traders bought the stock. You got, here's the news that came out on it. Now you could sit there and you can analyze it and do everything you want about it. But at the end of the day, what makes these things drive up? Supply and demand. That's it. That's all you have to look at. Now, um, how do we know the stock was going to go up and go down? How do we know who's buying it, who's selling it? That is what converted me from trading on my own than from getting a job. I realized that I've been trading blind this whole time. I'm like, when I first took a step into my first office, when I finally blew up three accounts and said, you know what, enough's enough. I have kids in my neighborhood driving Ferraris and Porsches, and here I am, you know, living in my mom's basement, trying to make a living and, and don't understand why they're making money and they're doing great and I'm not, okay? Thank God, you know, living in New York, I had a couple of friends in my local school that invited me to go you know, meet their, uh, come, come and meet their office. And so, and be like, holy cow, how does anyone have a chance of doing this? What was I thinking? What am I, a moron? Okay, so what do I, where am I going with this? Where I'm going with this is having the right tools, okay? The right tools is not only just having the right execution system and the right brokerage firm, but also knowing how to look at it. Now, what we're looking at right now and Rosie, I'm getting to it right now. I'm getting to the point where I want you to realize, Rose, that a lot of us are trading with the wrong tools, the wrong education, and you know, but you know you can make money doing this. And and one of the other big mistakes, Rose, that people do in trading is that they go into trading and they have um, they trading blind. I mean, how many times have you gone to a stock rose and just just basically just took a crap shoot and just you know what I don't know I, I, let, let me look, 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 look at uh, Home Depot you know it's a good company I just went there today and I bought some stuff you know it, that's not how it works that's how it works what you want to do is you want to find the stocks that are up 20 50 100 percent a day and you want to make your days pay and have a better life. Um, I guess, Rosie, I missed your question. What is direct access trading? Direct access means you have instant access to the market. You have a seat on the exchange and you'll be able to compete and be on the same floor as Goldman, Merrill, Shearson. So like right here in the bottom, if you look at the level two and you see all the guys on ID, those are basically their, the four letter ID of a of an NVDCN or a broker term. And you could actually become one of those guys where you could place those bids with them. So you ever hear about the auctions, like these car auctions, like oh, I heard you get good deals at these car auctions. They don't let you in unless you're a dealer. 
They're like, oh, so I got to go to a dealer and buy. Why have to keep going to a dealer? You guys ever go to a car dealer and buy a car? Isn't like, isn't it the most degrading? Big, you, know, you know, you feel like they are the best salesmen in the world, and you know when you get out of there, sometimes they make you feel like they give you such a great deal, and it, and then when you're all said and done, you know you got ripped off, you know. And they're like, why, why am I going to deal with him? Can't I just go to the deal, the auction, and buy the car myself? Why am I have him go buy it? Can I go? Okay. Well, that is what you're doing. The difference between dealing with online brokers and direct access, Rosie. Um, well, Rose, I'm going to get to that at the end of the presentation. You know, right now, Rose and, and everybody else, you know, I don't, I don't want to sit there and talk, take too much time because I want to get into the trading part of it, the exciting part of it. But this is why you're here. You're here to learn if trading's for you. And I'm, I'm going to tell you this, Rose. Um, it, I'm going to give you access to my trading room for a whole week, and you're going to see exactly that you've been trading blind your whole time. All right. So let's talk about level three. So lost sound. Everybody lost sound? Hold on one second. All right. Could you guys hear now? Hold on one second. Let me see if I can get the audio. Can you hear now? Uh, just checking. Audio, audio. Could you hear? Okay, good. All right. It must have been um, it must have been something with my uh, my headset. All right, good. All right, so a little quick uh, poll question, guys. And poll question is: Do you have level three? So let's do a quick poll question here. And be honest. You know, no one's going to yell at you. No one's going to embarrass you. No one's going to you know rat you out to your spouse. All right, so we got about 33% saying yes, 46 no, 19. Oh, we're going up on the nose now. If you're, if you're saying you're not sure, I'll take that as a no, all right? So if you're looking at it, we're about close to about 70, 80% of you that are saying no. All right, so let me explain to you what we're looking at here. My question to you guys is this. If I was to tell you that I could show you where 70% of the buyers and sellers are, what is that worth to you? If you could see where 70% of the buyers and sellers are buying a stock that you're in, what, what is that worth to you? Think about that. 70% of where all the buyers and sellers are, and you could see that data. How much smarter and better trading decisions would you have made? A lot, right? So let's look at this right here. This is called the book viewer, okay? This is uh, NASDAQ. Now this is one of several out there. All right, does everybody see this right here, the screen right here? Can everybody see the, uh, the uh, level three book viewer? Just want to make sure. All right. Just making sure. I thought I, I lost audio there again. <laughs> All right. So what you're looking at, there's about several different ECNs. Now, ECN is called Electronic Communication Network. I actually helped develop and build uh, to make these ECNs come to fruition about 25 years ago. So what this system allows you to do is, uh, this is where you're gonna see all the orders out there that are trading from everyone around the world, from mutual funds, brokerage firms, you, me, everyone. So these are all the orders that are gonna be making support and resistance levels on a chart. Now, how do we utilize this data? Well, the way you utilize this data is you get to see where all the big orders are. Now remember, how do stocks go up and go down? Supply and demand, buyers and sellers. So when you look right here, let's look at the chart right here. You see the stock right here had a very difficult time 
Every time it came to a price of 3360, it went up. 3360, it went up. Why did the stock bounce at 3360? Okay. Well, if you look over here on the buy side, out of all the buyers, there was a 25,967 share buyer. By the way, that's aggregated more than one person, by the way. Um, at 33.56. No one, and then you know what? No wonder why the stock never went below that. Because that big buyer's out there, and if you saw him out there, and, and if nobody's selling it to him, there's only one other place he could buy it from the sellers. And, the, and he probably is the one that is the cause of why the stock went from 33.60 all the way to 34.80. So when you're looking at an actual chart and you're like, you're trying to figure out what really makes a support level. Well, let me tell you what really makes it, what doesn't make it. It's not Mr. Fibonacci. It's not Mr. Bolger man. It's not Mr. 200 moving average. It's not, uh, it's not the butterflies. It's not the double top. It's not the triple bottom. Okay. It's buyers. Okay. The problem with a chart, you don't see the buyers. You only see what happened in the past to have past data. You have to have data of the future, which is what we're looking at over here. That's going to predicate, you know, that, that support level still exists. So here's another example. Stock goes from right out of the gate, goes from $4 and $14 and 50 cents all the way up to a price of 1750. Now, why in the hell would this stock stop at 1750? Why not 18? Why not 90? Why not 16? Why did it have to stop at $17 and 50 cents? And how did I not know that? Because if I got out, I would have made a nice little profit, but because you probably got greedy or thought it was going to go higher or because maybe you saw a bull flag, now the stock is back down to 1550 and you just lost that whole profit. Well, did you see that there was a 279,000 share sellers sitting there smack on the offer on the level three? Think about it. Just want to make just just looking at it right there. Do you see that resistance levels? Probably not. You don't see it on a chart, but you do see it here. You know, you do see it here on the right. Um, just hold on one second, guys. I'm going to log out and log back in. So give me a second here, okay? All right, could you guys hear me okay now? Just want to do an audio check. Give me a chat back if you guys can hear loud and clear. Okay, good, good. All right. So let's get back into that. Sorry about that, guys. All right. So basically getting back here, this is what we're looking for. So looking at right here, guys, what do you think is going to happen when you see a big seller at 280,000 shares? It's going to back off. That is what we call a resistance level. All right, so let's have a little fun right here. Looking at this stock right here, do you guys think the stock's going up or going down? What do you think? Up or down? Actually, let's do a little quick poll question. How about that? Do you think the stock's going to go up or do you think it's going to go down looking at this chart? It's not a trick question, guys. Don't worry about it. Just tell me what you think.
All right, so as you guys are starting to answer that question, right? What happens when you have a buyer of 50,000 shares sitting here at 880? What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Look at all the buyers. And then all of a sudden you have the big buyers sitting there for 50,000 shares. That's right. We're looking at that chart right there. We just looked at earlier. Look what happened when we hit 50,000 shares at 880. It went all the way back up to 980. Why did the stock go from 880 to 980? Because it was a 50,000 share buyer out there. So one of you just said it was incomplete information. I don't know what that means, incomplete. You know what? I agree with you. It is incomplete because that doesn't mean anything to me. Where's the buyers? Where's the sellers? Think about it. How many of you guys right now are monitoring the orders? How many of you guys here um, are following guys like Goldman Sachs, Merrill Lynch, Shearson Lehman? Lehman, um, you know, what you would call it, uh, uh, Candace, uh, Candace Fitzgerald, uh, Knight, you know, all these big brokerage firms, BATS, ECNs. How many of you guys doing that? Not that many. And guess what? That's okay because I wasn't doing it either. I thought I had to read some Fibonacci indicator that was invented by some mathematician to tell me other than finding out that it was just a lagger. And you know what happens to laggers? They don't finish first. I can tell you that. So what I'm looking to do, guys, fellow traders, is that what you're looking at is pretty basic stuff. I don't think this is that complicated. Do you guys think so? I don't think it's complicated at all. Right? So think about it if you're able to join the original trading room and you'll be surrounded by hundreds of traders and we're all looking because by the way there's no indicator out there that will do that because if there was i would have had it out already but going out there finding these big orders and working together knowing that people have these big limit orders out there and just following their coattail like for example look at the resistance levels on pandora i don't know 34,000 shares, I would assume it's going to be 901, right? Well, what a coincidence. Stock went all the way down, tried to come back up, never wanted to go past 901. Why was that? Why Why was that? Well, maybe maybe because that big resistance level was there. Here you have a stock, it drops all the way down here and starts coming back up at 886. And you're like, oh, why did it go back down? It was just looked like it was going to go back up to back to 980. Why did it go back down to 886? I don't know. Maybe there was a seller out there advertising want to sell 34,000 shares. Listen, I'm not a, you know, I'm not being a rocket scientist here or a genius, but I, you know, I do know math, and I do know that's a lot of money, and I do know that not too many of you are putting 34,000 share orders out there. Uh, no stream, uh, others getting streamed. I don't know what that means, some, uh, Summit. So, as we're watching the stock, not only did it drop, but it went all the way down to 860. So here you are looking at the stock and like, oh, maybe this is the comeback. You know, Pandora, it's, it's good. It's been taking off the last couple of days. Why is it backing off? I don't know. Maybe there's still sellers out there dumping it. That's what it's all about, following the money and monitoring the iceberg orders. Anyone familiar with the Titanic? Why did the Titanic sink? It was supposed to be the unsinkable ship. Maybe because they didn't spend money on radar to look what's on the bottom, you know? So they, people don't realize it's not what's on top of the water, it's that what's on the bottom of the water. And, and the top of the water is your level one version when everyone's looking. And it's amazing how many of you guys out there are not using the level three, which is at the bottom of the water. Because, you know, if you bump into a big iceberg, what's going to happen? You're going to crash. You need to see that before it gets there. 
And that is why I love teaching because I'm looking for people that I could teach this information to so you could help us all make money together. There are over 25 million, not thousand, million people that trade in today's markets. 90%, 99% of the people out there trading are self-taught, okay? 80% of them will lose all their money. It's a fact. I'm not making this stuff up. Look, look at the statistics on the internet. Why then, then why is everybody in the business that they, they know they're bound to fail? Because we're going to be smarter than them. We're going to be smarter than them because we're going to get educated, have the right data. Because remember, like I told you, I was there 25 years ago. I was an ignorant 22 year old kid, thought I knew what I was doing. You know, thought I could, you know, I was, I was, I was an educated, you know, uh, went to school, went to college, learned this, passed my seven license, but didn't know that it's not about what I think, it's what the street thinks. So the thing is, how do I see the real orders? Now, this is the next people thing that people ask. How do I know this is the truth? How do I know that these people... Because a lot of people always ask me and they say, oh, yeah, I heard about this, Fausto. Um, but how do I know they're real? Well, first of all, you can't put a fake order out there with a brokerage firm. And if you do know one, please tell me because, you know, I love opening an account with them. <laughs> this is not demo mode. Okay. This is real, real money. People are putting real orders out there. Now, how do we know they're real in the way of them getting executed? Well, listen, anybody here could change their mind, right? Anybody could cancel their mind. My job is doing something, what I was trained what to do is called reading the tape. And that's called the time and sales window. Now the time and sales is the confirmation of a transaction that taken place. So when you see these orders and you get up to those support resist, those big buyers and sellers, you wanna see, did the guy cancel or did someone actually execute it? And that is what's gonna help you become a better trader. By the way, a chart gets his data from time and sales. I don't know if you guys know that. So if you know how to read time and sales, you'll be one step ahead of everyone else that reads a chart. Now we have the colors um, uh, segregated in two colors, green and red. Green means trades going off in the offer. Red means trades going off in the bid. So when you see a lot of reds, guys, what do you think's happening? The buyers are getting hit, it's going down. See a lot of greens? means a lot of people on the offer are getting executed, stock's going to go up. It's not that complicated. Like, look at this example right here. Stock is, is red, right? All time in sales, red, 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 red. We think it's going to happen. It's going down. It's going down. Look at that. Stock's trending down. Did you need an indicator to tell you that? No, here's a couple of our students that traded on the short. Ken made a buck 75, 1700 shares. Ben made about 45 cents. How did we know it was going down? Because the buyers were on the bid and you saw them getting executed. 25,000, 10,000, 1400, 1200, just on and on and on. What do you think this stock's gonna do everyone? Let's look at this. What do you think this is going to do? Go up or go down? Well, AMRN went from $10 to almost 13. Green, 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 green. These are all chats from students of ours. Todd made 46 cents. Don made uh, 61 cents. Ken made 90 cents. Made his day's pay. Nancy made 30 cents. I mean, this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Working together like a team, telling everyone how much money you're making in points. How do we know that? By following the money. It's all about following the smart money, guys. That's what it's all about. How many of you here are following the smart money? How many of you here are actually going out there and buying it and selling the stock, you know, and following where all the, all the buyers and sellers are. How many of you here 
are reading time and sales. How many of you here are trading with successful traders? Because what happens when you find the smart money and not only you have an order, but you have a 400,000 share order that just got executed. Boom. Stock goes right up. That is what we call dark pools. And guess what? We're going to learn that in the trading room. So the thing you got to remember, previous data is not always indicative of the future. And I think that's where a lot of people get a big mistake. They'll go out there and don't realize that, you know, if the stock drops 50 cents, you do a short, you know, on 500 shares, it's 250. On 1,000 shares, it's 500. That's a lot of money. You know, if you do 500 a day, 50 cents a day, $500, you're talking a six-figure salary. Who here doesn't want that job? But people don't look on making 50 cents. They're looking to make $5 and $10 and, you know, three points, six points, 50 little stinking cents. You just have to follow the money. And most importantly, what we teach you here at Cyber Trading University is you learn to always take a profit. Because if you don't, like Andrea did, when he had 3,000 shares and sold it at 55, he sold it at 942. If he didn't get out, dropped all the way to 49. You know how much money of a loss that would have been for him? Huge. Always, always take a profit. Now, the next biggest thing people always ask, but Fausto, I heard about indicators and I need this and that. And could you tell me a little bit about these and how do they work? L let me tell you exactly what I, I was taught. If you're an, a long-term investor, then indicators work. If you're a day trader, you're wasting your time. Who would you trust more, the buyers? or some lagging indicator. Because at the end of the day, they're so damn confusing. It seems like everybody has an indicator, right? How many indicators did you learn? Did you learn ever just following the money? Wouldn't it be just easier to follow where the orders are? Now, I always get I always get people asking me this. It's says, Faust, I don't understand. Why more people don't talk about it? Why do people not go out there and talk about level three as much as I do? Because everyone's always pushing and talking about their indicators. You know why? Because they want you to buy their indicator. Okay? That's what that's why. It's like it's like a you know, a chef. You know, they all want you to buy their cookbook. But for some reason, when you bring the cookbook home, it never always tastes the same than if you eat it at the restaurant. You ever notice that? It's like, you know what, I try to make it, it never seems to be the same. Well, how about this? Don't buy the cookbook. Wouldn't it be nice to actually go there and, and if you really, really, really want to learn how to make that dish and you'll do anything to do to learn that dish, wouldn't it be nice if you could work and just sit there side by side and have him show you how to make it the right way and what you're doing right and wrong? Well, now you're going to get the opportunity to do that exact thing, but learning how to trade. Because at the end of the day, like I mentioned earlier, I am here to find committed traders that I could teach that could help us all find these iceberg orders so we all can make money together and make our $500,000 a day because that's all we're looking to do. So don't be confused. Keep it simple, guys. Go out there. Learn how to play the game the right way. Don't make things complicated and what they are. But let's make money together. Because like I said, the potential income, you buy a thousand shares, stock moves 50 cents, 500 a day, 20 trading days a month, 10,000 at the end of the month, you're talking a beautiful six figure salary. Who here wants to do that? To make five, to make a nice six-figure salary. Did you ever thought about that? 50 cents a day, that's all it takes? 50 lousy little cents. That's it. 
So getting right into it, ladies and gentlemen, because I want to wrap this up. I know we all got things to do. So my goal today was to spark your interest, to show you that if you really like trading and if, it was, if I taught you how simple it was, well, now I want you to come in and I want to show you what it's all about. But you got to remember, everybody here needs a mentor, okay? Think about it, guys. Do you, does anyone here have a mentor? Anyone here? We all had jobs before, right? We all went to school. I know you went to school because it was the law. Unfortunately, in trading, there's no law, okay? That's why a lot of people lose money in trading. But you know what? We're going to be smarter than the rest of the people out there. Let's trade against the uneducated. Let's go out there and also let's just make sure that trading is for us or not. It's just so much cheaper to go out there and figure it out. And let me tell you, you know this better than me. You'll have more time to do anything you want, to spend more time with your family. You are your own boss. You could do this anywhere in the world. It's not a full-time job. You know, you don't have to listen to people. You don't have to worry about employees and rent and regulations and, you know, traffic. That's all gone. You can do this in your pajamas. But you got to learn before you can earn. Don't waste the time. Enjoy your life. You work so hard. You don't want to go back to work. You know, I, I you know, you here I know have that are you know retired. How many of you guys? I mean, who could say, who could honestly tell me that Social Security is definitely paying enough? And if it's not paying you enough, you think there's anything left for me? So what do you think I'm doing? I'm working on my retirement right now. I'm putting a lot of money, but I'm making it in the stock market. So that is basically what I'm looking to do. I'm looking for serious traders that I could teach you guys how to follow these big iceberg orders, working together with my fellow traders, so and seeing if it's for you first. And if it is, you're going to see why CyberTrade University has been ranked, you know, and it has, has been ranked one of the number one schools in the industry. And secondly, we do more education than any brokerage firm in the world. You know, I mean, any school in the world, we have we deal with more brokerage firms than any other school. So what I'm looking to do is this, and that's exactly right, Frankie. I want you guys to come in in the original trading room, okay? And this is what I want you to look at. Everyone, everyone here is gonna be invited in this room, okay? And in this room, ladies and gentlemen, you're, you're, gonna, you're not gonna look at me, all right? Don't look at me, I'm just a coach. Okay, I'm just a messenger. What you want to look at is you want to look at the other traders and see if they're making money and judge them on their losers. Because we all know the reason why people don't worry about making money is the losers we don't know how to control. And look how they get in and out of their positions. Remember, we're not batting a thousand, all right? But we're doing pretty damn well. And you'll see why, like I just mentioned, we're... And, and, and let me tell you this, guys, you can do all your homework you want. You will never find a school that's being featured with more broke, with, with, for more brokerage firms than anyone in the industry because they know it works. And that's what you have to look at. You think these brokerage firms are going to showcase Cybertrain University because they think it doesn't work? You think they want to have a bad reputation? These are billion-dollar companies. You know how hard it is to have a company like TradeStation to endorse CyberTrade University, Tasty Trade, you know TD Ameritrade, Schwab, Wiley wrote a book, you know uh, published uh, you know public book for us. They're very very selective who they they they'll write books for because they know what we do works. So this is what I'm looking to do, everyone. I'm looking for serious traders, but to know that that you're a serious trader. I need one thing from you. I need to make sure that you're a real person because we do have a couple of hecklers. We have some people that are trying to steal clients from us, uh, competitors, and uh, just jealous people. So before we can let you in our trading room, we're gonna ask you to come up with $7, which by the way, is fully guaranteed money back after seven days if you're not happy. And what you're gonna get is this, you're gonna get 
a one week in our cyber group room, three daily market meetings, a morning and afternoon watch list, your old pest personal education advisor, Q&A trading session, and as a bonus, if you're the first 20 people right now, I will personally will give you a coaching class. Now, think about it. That sounds awfully cheap. Why would you do it for $7? Listen, the $7 is means nothing to us. That just proves to us that you're a real person. We don't make money at seven. We actually lose money at seven dollars. If you to call my office and talk to any any one of my staff, you know, here in New York, you know the law is fifteen dollars an hour. Believe me, by the time I pay for the phone, the rent, this and that, I'm losing money. I'm not looking for the seven dollars. I'm looking to make several hundred dollars with with you. And just go out there and just prove to me that you're a real person, and I will show you, and you'll get to meet and see why we are the number one school in today's industry and why we do more education for more brokerage firms than any other school, and why we've been in business for 25 years. If you want to stay after the seven days regarding a recurring fee, yes, it would be $87 a month, and if you don't want it, if you don't want it, no problem, let us know, we won't charge you for it. But let me tell you this, if I got you in any one of those stocks, like TLRY, 20 to 300, APDN, NBEV, these stocks up two, three, four hundred percent. Trust me, you'd be like, that's the cheapest seven or eighty-seven dollars I've ever spent in my life. All right. Um, now, uh, a couple of uh, wow, you guys. Let me just go through a couple of shout-outs really quick because I have a couple of you already registered. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank. Uh, it looks like uh, Ken um, from. Ken T from, uh, what is this, from uh, Pompano Beach, Florida, just got registration, <laughs> all right. Bill from California, just got your registration. Welcome aboard. Roy from Corum, New York, just got your registration, local, right by here, up the block from us. Robert L from North Carolina, Charlotte, congratulations, got your registration. Uh, a couple of questions coming across here. Uh, at what time is the chat room open each day? Great question. The room opens up at 8 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. We do a, most of our trades in the pre-market because that's the easiest way where to make your money. And then uh, the room's up all the way up until 4.30 in the afternoon when the market closes a half hour because we like to trade after hours too, depending some of the more advanced traders. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, Frankie, yes, this is all online. This is all online. You don't have to come here to New York. You don't have to worry about and spend the money. It's a lot. We, we've been, we pioneered the webinar technology for over 20 years. And, you know, we used to do things on site and uh, it just got too expensive. And we don't want to, uh, it's just so much convenient and cost effective. All right, uh, Leslie from Chicago, just got your registration. Judy from New Mexico, just got your registration. Welcome aboard. All right, guys, listen, it's $7, right? What are you going to get for $7? Let me just go back. What you're going to get, guys, is you're going to get three daily market meetings. Let me just go, go out here and share this. Okay. So you're going to get three daily market meetings. You're going to get a morning and afternoon watch list. You're going to get a QA. and a You're going to get your own education advisor. You're going to get a, you're going to get workshops, a tape reading workshop that I'm going to give you. Listen, why are we giving up way so much is because I want to make sure that you know what you're getting yourself involved in. It's, it's basically, this is a, the most lucrative, best job in the world, but a lot of you just can't figure it out. Come in there. See why we're the, you know, we're the oldest running school in the industry and see how, and not most importantly, look at the traders and see if people actually make money doing this. And then you can make a decision if you want to move forward. It's only $7. Remember, it's just to prove to us you're a real person. That's it. Uh, did the SEC lower the rates requirement to trade yet? Thank you, Scott. I know that um, from what I heard, the you know they're looking to pass that law. I know uh, President Trump 
did a meeting over here in New York and spoke to a couple of uh, uh, brokerage firms regarding it. And they think they're going to get rid of that rule. That rule came out back in 2000 with the crash of 2000. Um, it, honestly, it's like it's discriminating to day traders. So I know they're going to probably get rid of it. So with that, we, we also see level three, Bill. Yes, you do. You will see level three live. We actually showcase the TradeStation platform because they have a very good platform that aggregates a lot of the a lot of the ECNs out there. I just showed you one. There are six of them out there, so it's nice when they're all aggregated. So you can see you can see because you might not see on one, it might see an, you know a big hedge fund might be putting it on another ECN out there. Uh, and okay, now this is a great question. Ed is asking me, what's the minimum amount of money we need to trade? Ed. Why are you worrying about how much money you need? Okay. Don't worry about it. there's plenty of money out there. You got seven dollars, that's how much money you need to trade. Seven dollars. All right. And then we'll worry about everything else. Don't worry about who got open a brokerage account, who's got the cheapest tickets, how much do I need? Seven dollars. You go in there, you see the facts, and then we'll worry about it when we talk over the phone. All right. How about that? Don't worry about the money. All right. Uh, who provides level three quotes? Once again, I didn't get your registration yet, um, Ken, but every a lot of brokerage firms do offer it. And when you register, I, you will see in the trading room. Listen, I personally am not going to tell you where to buy it. I don't want you to go buy it because honestly, you're going to do more harm than good. It's like me telling you about driving a car. Oh, do you know you could buy your own car? And they're like, yeah, great. Where do I buy it? If I was a parent, we think what happened if I gave the keys to my uh, to, to my child? He'd probably kill himself. I got to teach him how to drive first. Let me show you how it works, and then you'll worry about where to buy it. That's the least of your problems. Uh, let me see. All right, a couple other people just registered right now. Uh, Tony S. from uh, Oregon just got your registration. Welcome to the team. Look forward to talking to you. And what else we got here? That's just registered. Curtis just got your registration from Memphis, Minnesota. All right. Good, good, good. Any other questions? You're more than welcome, Scott. Scott, did you register? Like I told you, I didn't, I didn't see you registered yet. Listen, Scott, I, I know you want to do this. Everybody wants to do it. I know you probably, a lot of you attended so many webinars. And, you know, and, and listen, I can't speak for people out there, my competitors. But you notice they're always trying to sell you, oh, buy my, buy this, buy that, you know, they, like Crazy Yeti, if you remember him, electronic salesman. I, listen, I'm not playing that game. I, I am looking for people that want to learn how to trade, okay, that want to do this, that want to spend more time, you know, that can do it on their part sign, that know that they can do it. It's not hard, but you're not going to be good at it unless you surround yourself with great traders. It's like anything else. We've all... You know, some of you work for some of the biggest corporations in the world. Why are you working in a great corporation? Why don't you go work for a shit corporation? You, I know it's, you know, it's a very bold way of explaining it, but you know why you're there. Because that's where the money is. And those guys, and, and, and obviously, they're the best at what they do. You know, and that's what you have to do when it comes to trading. This is not a one-man dance. You got to remember that. All right. All right, guys. So with that said, um, there's still a lot of you registering right now. So uh, like I said, the lines will be open. If you can't register online, you can always call us up on the number on the screen and we'll be feel free to, uh, you can talk to an education advisor and get to know a little bit about it. But let me just leave everybody off with something very important. To go into training, guys, you got to learn before you can earn. And you might not like the way I look. Maybe you don't like, you know, the, the beard, the gray hair. I'm looking at you know, the New York accent, they talk too fast. I, I get it, okay? But, you know, you don't have to like someone. You got to respect somebody. If, if somebody's making money, you got to learn from that person. But you got to learn from someone. So please don't go out there and think that, oh, I just saw Fausto's video. And, you know, and let me, I'm going to go out there and try it, this and that. Oh, let me look at his YouTube videos. That's not going to make you money. You got to see the facts. And if it's not me, you got to learn from somebody else. And I know some of you guys have learned from other people. And you might not like the idea. You might have to go look somewhere else. It's okay. You know, people leave schools all the time and go to another school. Some people change professors all the time because they don't like that professor. You know, and you still want to learn that course. We deal with it every day. So 
you got to learn before you earn. So go out there and, and learn. But remember, you can't just learn from one person. You need to learn from several different people, and you don't have to spend a lot of money to do it. But eventually you might have to, but you got to start somewhere, all right? I know it's, it's, it's kind of scary in the beginning. I know it's kind of hard to kind of make that first initial setup. Some of you might even feel like, feel intimidated and think like, I don't really know what I'm doing. You know, I'm scared, this and that. Well, you should be damn scared because you've got money out there and you're just letting it do what, what, what it's doing and not knowing what you're getting yourself involved in. So learn, learn what the truth is. Learn why we're all here. And then you make a decision at the end of the week. And I'm telling you right now, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when you're going to start doing it. Because at the end of the day, you're all going to be trading your own money. It just it ends up coming down to that. But you got to learn how to earn. Guys, thank you so much. I'd like to thank the staff CTU. I'd like to thank our partners for being here and helping to make this a very successful event. I look forward to seeing you all in the, in the trading room. Just one very important thing I forgot to mention. When you do register, you do have to activate your trial. You're going to talk to an education advisor. He's going to do a full walkthrough of a te uh, of a of a um, orientation of what to, what you're going to hear. A lot of you, you know, I don't want you guys to get confused. Make sure you do that, and then you'll be able to get into the room. Just just very important when you're in that trading room. You're not there to trade. You're not there to make money. You're there to look, listen, and learn. It's all you need to do. With that said, thanks guys for being here, and uh, see you all in the trading room. Bye bye.